This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create powerful cinematic text in space. I provided a Photoshop template so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description or in my project files. It includes a black and white text design that you could use or replace with your own, lens flares, and a scratched metal texture. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, hit that small subscribe button at the lower right to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. If I've helped you learn or improve in Photoshop, and maybe even inspired your creativity, please join my community of patrons for as little as $2 a month to show your support of my channel. Thank you. First, we'll create a vast star field. We'll make a new layer at the bottom of the Layers panel by clicking the bottom layer to make it active and control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. We'll fill it with black, but first, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Let's name it Star Field. Hide the metal texture layer. We'll convert the star field layer into a smart object so we can modify it later if we want. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 35%, Gaussian, and check Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.3 pixels. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Make the Input Black level 120 and the Input White level 180. Make the Design layer visible and active. If you want to use your own black and white design instead, replace this layer with your own design. If you'd rather type out text instead, I'll quickly show you how to do it, and then we'll return back to the black and white design. Hide this layer or delete it by clicking the Delete key or by dragging it to the trash. Click the New Layer icon to create a new layer. Open your Horizontal Type tool and invert your foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Pick a font and type out your text. If you want to adjust its size, highlight it and drag the size icon to the right or left. Then open your Move tool and position it. Going back to the black and white design, we need to delete the white background around it. To do this, open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click the RGB thumbnail to make a selection of its shape. Open back the Layers panel and press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the white background around the design. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Since there's a white fringe around the design, it allows us to make out its shape for now. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Name the bottom one Radial Motion Blur, the middle one, Main Effects, and the top one, Inside Bevel. Hide the top layer, and double-click an empty area of the middle layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. This style is Outer Bevel, the technique is Smooth, and the depth is 370%. The direction is Up, the size is 7 pixels, and the soften is 0. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. Open the Gloss Contour Flyout list, and click the gear icon. Click Small List, and click Ring Triple. If you don't see it, go to Edit, 
Preferences, and General. Click Reset Preferences on Quit. Make sure you save your document as a PSD file and quit out of Photoshop. When you open your document back up, hopefully the triple ring contour will be there. The highlight mode is color Dodge, the color is white, and the opacity is 85%. The shadow mode is multiply, the color is black, and its opacity is 100%. Click Contour. Open the contour list and click half round. The range is 70%. Click stroke. The size is 7 pixels. The position is outside. The blend mode is normal. And the opacity is 100%. The fill type is gradient. Open the gradient list. I'll click the Violet Green Orange preset, but feel free to experiment with the others. The style is linear, the angle is 90 degrees, and the scale is 100%. Click Inner Glow and the color box. In the hexadecimal field, type in F779FF. The blend mode is linear dodge, and the opacity is 50%. The technique is precise, and the source is edge. The choke is 100%, and the size is 2 pixels. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. Click Gradient Overlay. The blend mode is subtract, and the opacity is 100%. Open the gradient list. If you don't have the metals gradient folder in your list, I provided it for you in my video's description or project files. If you'd like to use it, you'll need to place it into your gradients folder of the presets folder in your version of Photoshop. Once it's there, click the gear icon and click Import Gradients. Click Metals and Load. The Metals folder should now be in your list. Click Silver. Check Reverse. The style is linear, the angle is 0 degrees, and the scale is 150%. Click Outer Glow and the color box. Type in 005AFF. The blend mode is linear dodge and the opacity is 30%. The technique is softer, the spread is 0, and the size is 250 pixels. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. To save space in the Layers panel, let's collapse the effects. Make a copy of the layer to brighten the outer glow. Make the main effects copy active, scroll down, and make Flare 3 visible and active. Change its blend mode to screen. Make Flare 2 visible and active, and change its blend mode to linear dodge. Reduce the opacity to 50%. Next, We'll fill our design with the metal texture. Make the scratched metal layer visible and active. Press Ctrl or Command and the right bracket key until it jumps above the main effects copy layer. We'll clip it to the main effects copy layer by pressing Alt Ctrl G on Windows or Option Command G on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. Next, we'll brighten the texture. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. We'll clip it by pressing the hot keys as before, or you can click the Clipping Mask icon. In the Input Midtone field, type in 1.4, and in the Input White field, type in 200. In the Output Levels Black field, type in 90. Next, We'll add a light radial blur behind our design. 
make the radial motion blur layer active, and go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 100, the Blur method Zoom, and the quality Best. Right now, the radial blur is dark because its source layer is black, so we'll invert it by changing its blend mode to divide. Now it's too bright, so reduce its opacity to 20%. Next, we'll etch the inside of every shape in our design. Make the inside bevel layer visible and active. Reduce the fill to 0%. Doing this makes whatever shape inside this layer invisible, but it'll retain the full visibility of any effects we add to it. Double-click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Change the style to Inner Bevel and the technique to Chisel Hard. The depth is 100%, the direction is up, and the size is 10 pixels. Uncheck Global Light. This unlinks the angle and altitude of shading for this layer from other layers using Bevel and Emboss. Make the angle 130 degrees and the altitude 20 degrees. Make the gloss contour linear. The blend mode is screen and the opacity is 60%. The shadow mode is multiply and its opacity is 75%. Click Contour. The contour is rolling slope ascending, and the range is 50%. We'll group all the layers that comprise our text design into a folder. To do this, scroll down and shift-click the radial motion blur layer to make all the text design layers active. Then, press Ctrl or Command G. Name the folder whatever you'd like. Drag it below Flare 2 and make Flare 1 visible and active. Change its blend mode to screen. If you want to angle this flare, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. Then press Enter or Return. I think I'd like to brighten Flare 3 a bit more, so I'll make that layer active, make a copy of it, and lower the copy's opacity to 50%. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.